everyone here we are again with another video and in this video we are going to do a reading about Kim Nam Jun, also known as RM let's get started cleanse these texts purify these texts cleanse these texts from negativity from demons from evil from lies only one for the truth for the truth about Kim Kim no, no, no. Two, 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 two. Of BTS. <clears throat> All right. From what I gather from Kim Nam Jun, um, he's a Virgo. He is I'm not sure of his age. He was born September 12th, 1994. Hmm. 29. He's turning 29 this year. My math is correct. Virgos are very modest. They can be shy, although they will say they were more reserved, but they're shy. Um, they're very reliable, detail oriented, analytical, very practical people. The humorous kind of people, you know. They're not really goofy. They're friendly. They are. They do have a big heart. <clears throat> when they fall in love with the right person, they are loyal to a fault to these people. Finding means necessary. <clears throat> um, but the negative, and it could be positive about Virgos is they are so goodness perfectionist you know everything has to be perfect perfect everything has to fall in line you know if, if it's not perfect there's a problem you know so every little crease every little point has to be perfect they really overcritical to the point of harsh they do have tempers especially if they're perfectionists and their dream or whatever they had for themselves is not the way they want it they will definitely show their true colors you'll definitely see you know another side of a Virgo um, so they're very fussy they worry over very small things because of being so overly critical oh, this card wanted to come out for the non person So, see what we can find out about this Nam June R.E.M. Just want to come out. Okay. Guys and goddesses, bring vision. But just want to come out. Just don't want to shuffle. to come out. Oop. I just want to come out. I want to come out. Oop. I want to come out. We're going to stop right there because, you know, yeah. Anyway, we want this to be a really long reading. Okay, so let's See what we're getting about this our in person. Okay, so the first card that came out, you can see it there. All right, it says passionate, confident, charismatic, restless events requiring immediate action, trust your instincts, stay focused, a passionate relationship. So when I was talking about relationships, like this our in person is um maybe involved with someone you know maybe someone in, in his life I uh, get more visions as the card reading progresses this card here coming come out okay 
It says, be impartial, objective, stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of the situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. So it looks like um, he's definitely going to bring us something legal. It's standing for what you believe in. I have, I'm, I have not really getting any visions yet. Let's see here. Okay, we have managing your resources wisely. Extremes in how you give or receive money, time, or emotions. Start business decisions. Seeing things as black and white, being charitable. So I'm getting a lot of justice. I'm getting a lot of um, following your instincts and things of that nature. So it looks like um, this RM person is ready to make a move about something, some kind of project maybe. Let's see if I can find out what this project may be. Let's see here. Okay, we have this card here. See? Okay, it says the illusion of entrapment, a lack of self confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action, take responsibility for your life now. So, look like he may have been having a blinder zone or just going with the emotions and not realizing reality of situations. So it looked like finally he see the reality of his situation, his group. I'm getting a lot of that for all the members as if they were just in autopilot for so long. And now they're finally awakening up into the individualities and they're ready to do their own thing. You have this card here. Is this enjoying the fruits of your labor, hard work that has led to, luxurious, to a luxurious life, buying yourself something special, happily and successful. You're self-employed, enjoying your solitude. So again, they just want to relax. They want to just enjoy the fruits of their labors. They work very, very hard. And it looks like a lot of them are just, a couple of them wanted to just relax and not work so much and just chill. Take a really long vacation and do whatever their heart desires. We have this card here. It says, a wind, windfall of abundance, wise counsel or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or vehicle which is confirmed what I'm saying like this RM person I don't know if he had some kind of career if he's been singing for a very long time or rapping or whatever he's doing um, it look, look like he just want to separate from this group maybe even get a legal binding where he doesn't have to be in a group anymore and just do what he wants but I don't see any career paths for him yet so he might just be like the other member I did where he just went and enjoyed the fruits of his labor and not work too much we have this card here this is an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. See, you just want to do whatever. Whatever his heart takes him. You just want to go into this spiritual path and do whatever his heart told him to do. Whether it's rapping, going solo, acting, get into a relationship, have some kids. I mean, whatever. Get this card here. It says romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off her feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art of poetry. See, he just want to, you know, fall in love and do whatever his heart takes him. He doesn't have any specific goals that I'm seeing as of yet. That could definitely change as the reading progress, but I'm not seeing it as of yet. I'm just saying he just wanted to enjoy the fruits of his labor. He worked really, really hard and he just went to maybe buy a house, a car you know and whatever his heart takes him i don't see anything yet but let's see if the cards will give us more let's see what this, what this card say okay this card wants to come out Oop. that card wants to come out Oop. that card wants to come out Oop. that card popped out Car came out. These two cars pop out. We don't stay right here. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. Okay. We have the six of wands. You see that? Six of wands. And the six of wands is about some kind of victorious. Recognition, you know, look, they're celebrating. He's going on his horse. Hey, I won. Woo. So there's definitely some celebration going on here. Let's see what the celebration is. We have the two of pentacles. This means juggling, juggling multiple 
um, projects, you know, multitasking, wearing options. So we're getting that. We have the lover's card here, which means it could be a new love. Lover's card is pretty self-explanatory. Anyone who gets the lover's card, there's really not a lot to say. It could be some kind of partnership or a choice, you know, or something like that. Some kind of binding together. So we're getting that for the future. Telling him have strength. Strength. When the strength card come out, that means whatever um, choice he make, he's definitely going to need some kind of... Um, he need to think about it unconditionally and step aside himself because that would definitely give him strength, you know, raise options, basically. And then we have the King of Cups here. The King of Cups is basically saying that it's, it's like a supportive leader, someone in this corner who's very supportive, giving him advice, you know, some kind of empathy. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is retirement leaving a legacy like he got all his money he's ready to retire you know everything is showing there so he's definitely leaving behind a legacy or he wants to leave behind a legacy before he eventually retires and then we have temperance here you see the temperance where you know they're weighing the options going back and forth with the water you know going in and out of that cup if you guys didn't notice with the temperance cards here is literally balance self-control I'm getting a lot of balance, multitasking, harmony, retirement, lovers, you need strength for this. Okay. It's giving me some kind of visions here. Page of Cups. <clears throat> They're really, Page of Cups is generally a generous kind of car. You see he has, he has the fish in the cup and then he has, you see that fish in the cup? If you guys didn't notice the fish in the cup there. Yeah. It's a, a fish in the cup there. So it's like volunteer work or something like that. And then we have the hangman here. You guys probably already heard about the hangman already. The hangman is somebody who's just sacrificing, um, saying things from a different perspective, saying, I'm going to hang upside down. Maybe I can see it differently from upside down. So it looks like um, this Aryan person is thinking about a new project, but the project is not going to be so strenuous as it was before. It's not. It's going to be not what he used to be before. I'm not even sure what his project is because I'm not even getting visions. So it got to be something out of the ordinary and seriously drastic. You know, I don't even think it has, I don't even think this project has anything to do with music. We got relationships popping all over this card here. You know, relationship, you know, lovers. So he's either either in a relationship or he's getting serious about a relationship. Huh. It's probably not really warm out the relationship. Maybe it give me a little idea of what he's thinking about in the future. His cards are not telling me his future is or his talent. Other than the music or rapping or singing, whatever he does. I'm getting that he's a rapper, but... <clears throat> and I'm sure he's very motivated. He probably don't want to make sure the stage is probably set perfectly and the vision is doing... He's probably really good at managing things, you know, making sure everything is perfect. So whatever he's doing is definitely going to be some, be some along those lines. I'm getting this project is not going to be with him. It's going to, He's going to be more in the behind the scenes kind of person. He's not going to be in a limelight. I'm not getting a star. I'm getting behind the scenes management kind of thing. That's probably where the leadership roles come in at. Because he's been there. He's done, been there, done that. He probably want to do a managing and get involved in really deep, passionate relationship I'm seeing here. So let's see what these cards say. These two cards want to pop out. The card I want to shuffle. This card pop out. This card just popped out. This card came out. Okay, so that's all I'm getting from this deck. Okay, so we have this one here, which is Healing Wounds, if you can see that there. Okay, the Badger and the Kinko, which means there's definitely going to be some healing wounds here. Purification, a child in the lily of the valley, which means someone needs some transformation, some purifications, and some cleansing. So there's definitely going to be some retreat involved in whatever he's doing. Communication. So communication is the reason why he's feeling, you know, this deceit. It's a lack of communication. Guardianship, which means his leadership role 
and whatever this is is definitely not working out well I think that has something to do with the justice card and deceit deceit pretty much confirms that metamorphosis which means there's definitely going to be some transformation it's going to definitely be a, a new hymn that's going to come out now that's what I'm saying I don't get I'm not getting the things he used to do before it's something drastically different I think he's going to be more more behind the scenes and there's some deceit going on within the group someone lied to him or I don't know if, I don't, I don't know if it's the group or the management members of the group you know the people the record label or something I think that's where the deceit is coming in at and he's thinking about separating from them that's what I'm getting and the multiple projects and retiring with the legacy which means he's not going to be doing what he did before he's going to be more behind the scenes more leadership role or something like that that explains this card here you know he's going to be doing drastically different people ain't going to even know that he had this talent because he may not have shown it but it's something he's been very passionate about so healing wounds could be could be the relationship card or it could be the separation from the group you know his heartbreak from the group the deceit from the record label the lying and things of that nature but what i'm getting here he just want to bask in his success through some management he may manage a few groups or maybe or something along those lines but i don't see him in the limelight he's just going to be in the background kind of now that's what i'm seeing here i don't know if he's always in the limelight now like he's in the front or leader or one of the leaders or something or a main leader i know they have a primary leader of the group and then it has someone who's like an understudy or something like that so what I'm getting here and he don't want that anymore he want to be behind the scenes and there's definitely some kind of deceit going on I'm getting this with the record company not so much with the group but more so with the record company he want to start some charities get back to the community and he just want to sit back and manage you know buy him a house a car maybe fall in love with the girl I don't think the relationship is gonna get no farther than him falling in love with this person I'm getting a female. He, he's involved with a female. I don't get bisexual energy. Or I could be wrong, you know. <clears throat> he could be bisexual, you know. He just could be the dominant male figure in a relationship. But I'm um, not getting that. But I could be wrong. Um, sometimes I don't come forth, which is okay. So I'm getting from the Aryan person that when he leaves the group, which he wants to do, his is not leaving from this front, and his is because of the seat from the record label not so much with the group but with the record label and in fact he just don't want to do it anymore I don't get he's tired of doing it. he just don't he just bored with it you know he's not anger at what he's done he's grateful for what he's done but he's ready to sit back and enjoy the fruits of his labor and um, turn into another being he don't want to do anything he did before he want to be behind the scenes cameras just managing you know or teaching other people to manage or teaching other people to be but he don't want to do any of this anymore he want to do something completely different literally 180 degrees and what he used to do before that's what i'm getting from this iron person and that's all i have if you guys have any questions leave it below um and i'm going to move on to other things now more of unsolved cases and things of that nature i'm going to venture off into that so please share 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 and subscribe 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 even if you're you subscribe and then you go back and it looks like it has been deleted keep checking in because i think this page is hacked and someone's deleting my subscriptions and not to mention not counting my views because i've been then got the, the view quarter already but they're not counting it for some reason so make sure you're checking your subscriptions and your notifications okay and thank you for standing throughout the duration of this video bye